Hey there, it's Adam Schetzelar. I'm with Sound Balance Physical Therapy. And what I've been doing over the past, pretty much this whole year, since January 3rd, is typing every day um, with five minutes a day, trying to improve my Dvorak typing speed. Um, today, uh, once a week, I take a test. Today, I'm going to do a one minute QWERTY speed test. Um, you can see I'm between 50 and 60 words per minute QWERTY typing, generally. Um, although the last couple of weeks, my Dvor or my QWERTY speed has dropped. I think that's because Dvorak is uh, messing with my speed somewhat, and also because I've been typing tremendously less over the uh, COVID-19 epidemic, pandemic. Um, although I've been typing more over the past couple of weeks, and I think um, my brain is finally figuring out the difference between the uh, Dvorak and the QWERTY keyboards here. Um, I've also noticed an interesting distinction between this type of typing when I type on uh, transcribing something uh, versus typing just directly from my brain. Um, I, I really tend to mess up a lot more with the QWERTY. My brain, I think, has connected Dvorak with uh, typing from copying instead of just from my brain, because the only time that I do Dvorak training, I'm typing somebody else's words. Um, and pretty much that's the only time I don't use QWERTY. So it's an interesting uh, distinction I've noticed. Anyway, this week I've done uh, quite a bit better. You can see this yellow line is up um, and I'll show you here uh, on this part down here. Um, I got my best time, again, tied my best time here and then beat my best time and then tied my old best time. So I'm hoping for breaking records today, though that never seems to happen on my testing days. Um, I'll be happy with just some level of improvement. So here we are, my QWERTY speed. I'm going to do a one minute QWERTY speed test then a one minute Dvorak speed test um, without punctuation and see how I'm doing there. Hopefully I'm back up near 60 on my QWERTY and uh, back up over 20 on my Dvorak. And you'll see these top two are typing speed by date. And I started just after January, I think it was January 3rd right there. Um, Might have been the second and I tested on the third, something like that. But um, I've been improving fairly steadily, uh, a little bit lower the last couple days, but I'm out, back on the upswing last couple weeks, that is. And then this is typing speed by hours of practice. Um, so I get about a half an hour a week because I'm, I'm, I'm practicing five minutes a day is the only, the only amount. So, uh, I've been really pleased with this progress, um, given that I'm only giving five minutes of my time to this process. I certainly could have improved faster. Um, I think the sweet pot spot would be somewhere between 10 and 15 minutes a day, um, where you're not wasting too much time on the practice, but your brain is still getting a tremendous amount of improvement each day um, and being able to sleep on that and, and improve. So here we go without further ado, uh, one minute QWERTY typing test, uh, one minute Dvorak typing test, and then four minutes of typing on my lesson here, which has the home row plus CF, KL, M, P, R, and V. Um, so we'll kick back over here and that test. Here is my QWERTY typing speed for one minute. Ooh, I just did a Dvorak S which is really weird. I don't 
overthink it. I do okay. That's still slower. I think of my when when I started, I thought of myself as a sixty typer. Uh, when I when I started typing, I figured I was actually around fifty five. Um, and this is sort of tanked. And you see, I, I kind of get clicking along there, and then all of a sudden, Dvorak pops in there, and I, I get a Dvorak letter here or there. And the more I think about it the slower I go on QWERTY because my brain's like, wait a minute, what am I supposed to be doing? Um, 48 on uh, QWERTY today. So let's pop that in there. Um, beat last week, huh? 48. Um, and we'll see. That puts me back up here on the upswing still, but lower, I'd say, than my average. Um, but coming along there. Again, I, I think that's a combination of not typing and also uh, Dorak messing with my head. So uh, we're just going to shrink that. We're going to go uh, Windows Space, which is going to toggle me over here to Dvorak on my keyboard settings. And then we're going to fire away on this thing. Um, if I get punctuation, I'm hosed. And for you Canadians, um, and uh, there's a bunch of letters that I don't know still. But uh, I know most of the main letters. So um, we're going to see how we go for one minute here. He is not in my toolbox. There is W, uh, W H Y. Let W go. G is also not in my toolbox. All those letters are. Uh, interesting. 16, you know, I'm not thrilled with that, but uh, you can see every now and then I'm pop, 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 pop. And then I'm like, I have no idea where W is. I have no idea where G is. I have no idea where B is, and those really slow me down. So I think at this point, a lot of it depends on the words I'm given. Um, 82 CPMs. Let's plug that in. Um, it's not bad. It's not good either. But if I got a word I know, I could have pumped out another five real quick. Um, all right, 16.4. That's not my best, but not my worst. Um, let me see here. Uh, yeah, that Dvorak curve is really flattened. I got over the 20 mark once, and uh, it'd be interesting to go back and see that video and see what words I got there. Um, kind of just flattened off there, but um, I'm really I'm really feeling good about how I did last week um, and and how that's going to result in improvements on this. But um, <laughs> one way or another, maybe my cordy will tank or my uh, Dorak will come up, but I think we'll get it up there eventually to a uh, regular typing speed. Um, okay, so we're gonna pop over and do a four minute test. I'm not going to, oop, mistakes I've made in the past is doing the wrong lesson um, and not starting the time. So here you can see on the keyboard, these are the letters that I know or that I've been practicing on, um, including, you know, PF, CRL. I don't love the position of L and F on this keyboard. Those have been my main complaints. 
I'm pretty fine. I haven't worked on Z yet over here, but I'm pretty fine with the rest of these letters locations. F seems like I use it more often than, and maybe it's, then, then it should be way off there in the middle of nowhere. Um, and maybe that's just because I'm working on a lesson that is supposed to work that letter, um, that it's showing up more often than I, I anticipate, but, um, yeah, I don't know. And L, L, again, I use that one quite a bit too. Um, I'd almost rather have it on the uh, comma or the quotation marks over here, this this letter. But anyway, uh, that's loaded up. So here we go. I'm going to shrink me there. Ooh, there we go. And we're going to start that. Three, two. Ooh, that's the wrong one. Sorry. Reset. Four, three, two, one, and that's not working. I'm not in there. I'm sorry. Four, three. Ah. That was a QWERTY, QWERTY P. For some reason, I just want to use that QWERTY P like all the time. And after doing QWERTY, always slower on these test days. I have to find some way make the switch faster. I used to wakeboard a lot and I'm a very much a straight wakeboarder and I tried to go goofy foot and I do okay for a little while and then all of a sudden my other foot takes over and I take a big crash and in the process I have ruptured an eardrum and dislocated a shoulder and it feels just like that minus the pain when I'm clicking along here and all of a sudden my brain's like nope you're gonna do QWERTY and I'm like no I can't help myself. I'm pleased that I'm able to talk now. It tells me that I know where these letters are, at least kind of. It always slows me down, but um, there's that QWERTY L, uh, P again. It's strange because I don't, it's not like you use P all that much. I wanted to do it that time, but my finger went up there and I stopped it. I'm going to quit typing and quit talking, excuse me. So hopefully I can get a good score here. When you only type five minutes a day, you have to make sure that fully focused during that five minutes. Some days I'm like, I just want to keep typing. And today it's only four minutes, so I really don't even get into the zone. Oh, dang it. And that just kills you because dang it, he's over here. Uh, if you retype the whole word. One of my less, uh, one of my critiques of this. particular training program.
usually just finish the word that I'm on because I don't really know if I'm uh, starting on time and whatnot. Uh, okay, so drolleries. Let's see where we're at. 47. It's not great, but it's not going to be too bad either. Um, it's going to be lower than I've been. 47 in four minutes. Windows space, because I have no idea where the equal sign is in Dvorak. Uh, 47 divided by four minutes uh, is 11. <clears throat> it's a little slower than last week. I think probably because of my talking. Uh, it's not it's not an exact science here, but um, I am happy 47 out of 100 in five minutes. Um, on lesson three, I am happy with the trend. So uh, lots of talking during the uh, lesson. You can watch the video if you like. <laughs> I'm also been sick. Uh, more sick this year than I think I've ever been. All right, so there it is. Uh, we have, uh, what was that, 47 over here on QWERTY and 48. And then down here, we have a typing speed of, uh, oh, that's cutting that off. Anyway, uh, something. Um dropped down here again. I'm pretty sure that the rest of this week we're going to be up over 15. And uh, that means my typing speed here by hours practice and by date are a little bit lower than I want it to be. I was on a good little trend there and uh, got derailed. I was hoping I'd be at like 23, 24 right now. Um, but such is life. Um, we'll keep working at it and it will come eventually as it always does. So uh, happy typing. Keep uh, practicing whatever it is you're trying to get better at. And I'll see you next time.